Once you have created your My Viewboard account, you can now log in and use the advanced features of your My Viewboard whiteboard. Go ahead and open your My Viewboard whiteboard app if you haven't already. When you first open it up, the sign in window should automatically pop up for you in the bottom right corner. If you have already closed out of it, or if it doesn't show up, go ahead and tap on the head and shoulders in the bottom right corner. Now you'll log in based on the way that you set up your account. If you set up your account with the Google single sign on, you'll touch the G for Google. If you set up your account with your Microsoft OneDrive, you will use the Microsoft logo. You will use the Apple logo if you used Apple, or if you created your account with email and password, that option is here as well. So I'll go ahead and tap on the G for Google single sign-on. If you are using single sign-on, make sure you remember to touch your work account if you're using a Google account or the Microsoft Work account if you're using a OneDrive account. Once you have tapped on your account and signed in, you'll receive a pop-up prompt asking you if you would like to stay signed in after you close the application. Choose yes or no based on what best suits your needs and your device. You'll know that you're signed in because you should see your full email address or name in the top left corner of the app 